All right, we're live, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to KCWLP Pendleton 104.1 FM. This is Wyatona come to you live in Pilot Rock High School, where the Pilot Rockets or Pilot Rock Rockets Invitational Oregon 1A preview. Yeah, if you missed it, you missed a, a nail biter, nerve wracking game. But Nick Alley, Golden Eagles triumph over Damascus Christian. Damascus Christian defeated. Uh, defeated uh, Crane by 22 last night and Crane defeated the Golden Eagles by 16 the night before but Golden Eagles worked together they made it happen they got the win in an impressive victory Mercedes Hart was chosen as the player of the game I believe there's some uh, a committee that uh, picks that here in Pilot Rock I'm not 100% sure but she had an outstanding game Ella Stewart had a great game all of our girls played amazing. But uh, now we're moving on over to the boys. So for those who don't know, they were originally scheduled to play Open Door Christian. That's what it shows on the schedule is Open Door Christian. But Open Door Christian, I believe, just, um, had to go home. And that's located in Troutdale. So safe, hopefully, you know, safe travels to them. But uh, the game was initially canceled. But they... Uh, rescheduled and got us a new game against Myrtle Point Bobcats and I got to watch these guys the night before they got a win over uh, St. Paul at the Nick Alley Golden Eagles Nest uh, Thursday night before we played Crane so Nick Alley is the home team Myrtle Point's the away team just about ready to start here I imagine starting lineups I don't have the official paper for uh, the other team but they have one freshman, the rest are seniors and juniors. So, I always pay attention to their names, not really their their uh, grades or none of that. So, getting ready for starting lineups, of course, like I said, Nick Alley, Golden Eagles. Take a look at our boys there. The We're going to start with our uh, visiting team of visiting Myrtle Point. Point. So again, thank you for tuning in to KCW LP Pendleton. Getting ready to announce the starting lineups here. So starting number two, Andres Villanueva. I did do the announcement starting lineups for these guys when we were at the gym. Number three, Logan Backman. For This is for Myrtle Point. Number four, Trace Edwards. Number 10, senior, I guess, he's a, one of the captains. Number 10, Howard Blanton. Then number 44, Jason Bates. Jamil Wynn is their head coach. Now for your starters of the Nick Alley Golden Eagles. So starting off with sophomore number zero, for the Nick Alley Golden Eagles, Ryland Brunson. Number one, also a senior. Uh, get on the players here. Dylan Abrahamson, one of the team captains. A junior, number three, Baron Moses. So I gotta come up with a name for Ryland. Dylan Shot Collar, Bears, Bear, Air Bear. Simon Picard, another sophomore, number four. And then a senior, number 20, Aaron Barkley, followed by the rest of the team there. So our boys have been looking impressive this, this year. They took a tough loss to uh, Crane the other night. They won against Bonanza yesterday. Both of our boys, or boys and girls, got wins yesterday. So today they're going against Myrtle Point. Yeah, I really like their announcer over here. Give me just a second to get situated and just making sure I can check on the, see if anybody says anything in the crowd. So, all right, getting ready to start the game. Bear Moses is going to be at the line, or at the 
jump with Trace Edwards, number four for Myrtle Point. Kind of a faulty little start, but uh, Myrtle Point gets the tip. Villanueva with the ball, passes it to Edwards. Edwards passes it over to number 44, Jason Bates. Bates back to Edwards. Edwards over to Backman. Backman to number 10, the big man, Logan Bates, I believe is his name. Oh, Blanton, excuse me. So first two points for, the, for uh, Myrtle Point. Matches it right off the bat. Aaron Barkley, first two points for the Golden Eagles. Stolen by Aaron Barkley. Long pass up to Aaron. Aaron to Dylan, excuse me. Dylan gets two points off the assist to Aaron. Some aggressive defense. Traveling called. So a quick turnover there by the uh, Myrtle Point Bobcats. Golden Eagle ball on the sideline in front of the visiting bench. Again, the Golden Eagles are a home team. Bronson for two, no good. One minute into the game, it's a two point game right now, it's pretty close. Number 10, no good. Blanton, Abrahamson passes it long, but loses it. Bear grabs it, lost it. Now Myrtle playing with the ball. Takes it up for two, no good, rebounded by Bronson. Bronson to Abrahamson. Abrahamson to take the ball forward. Takes a three-point shot. Rings around. No good. A foul being called on the play. Simon went for the rebound. And number three, that's Logan Backman. No, number 10, excuse me, Howard Blanton. And uh, called it uh, wrap around over the back. So Golden Eagles will get the ball. Abrahamson into Aaron. Aaron takes it in for two. Misses it, rebounded by Picard. Picard for two and is good. Picard gets his first two points. So three out of the five starters have scored so far. Yesterday, Abrahamson didn't start. Today, he did. Out of bounds, and it goes to the Golden Eagles. Myrtle Point didn't get a hold of the ball. Went out of bounds, so turnover on them. Moses inbounds to Abrahams, and Abrahams takes the ball forward for the Golden Eagles. Like I said, he's the shot caller tonight. He's the point guard. He makes all, he's one of the leading assists. A foul on the shot. Uh, Bear Moses was getting, trying to get two points in, but gets fouled, goes to the line. So the foul is called on Villanueva. So Villanueva's first foul. Bear at the line, makes his first. Bear usually pretty uh, pretty efficient from the free throw line, and he knocks them both down. Inbounds by the Bobcats. Trace Edwards takes the ball forward for Bobcats, passes it to Blanton. Intercepted by Barkley. Barkley long pass to Abrahamson. Abrahamson mid-air pass to Bear Moses for two. Assist on there by Dylan Abrahamson. Playing some mental games, they're talking. Blanton passed it out to number two, Villanueva, and Villanueva knocks it down for two, or for three, excuse me. Picard's taking the ball down now. Picard to Barkley, Barkley for three. No good. Abrahamson tried to get in there. Little guy hangs in. Time out taken by the Bobcats. So 10-5 right now, five minutes remain in the first quarter. Golden Eagles coming out strong. Smart offensive play, smart defensive play. They're getting in the heads of the Bobcats right away. And uh, that's been kind of the key point for the Golden Eagles, the boys. They tend to get into their opponent's heads, and that's what gives them the advantage. They play mental games, you know, they talk, and sometimes they get in trouble for it. Yesterday, uh, Bear got a, I it was Bear or Dylan got a technical. I was told both of them, but I can't confirm or deny. Um, and I know there was also a technical pregame uh, I believe that was because Landon Picard grabbed the rim, touched the rim, touched the backboard, something like that, and that's a technical. So they called a technical, which gave uh, 
the other team, the Bonanza two point, or gives them a free throw, technical free throws, which they made and got the possession. So anyways, back to today's action. Myrtle Point getting ready to inbound, gets it in. Number three, Logan Backman with the ball, being met by a double team. Stolen, Bear, or Aaron passes to Abrahamson, Abrahamson for two. If they play like this, this is gonna be a long, long game for Myrtle Point, but it's early to tell, can't quite tell. Little bit of a, a collision there between the players, but Myrtle Point takes advantage of the ball. They have the ball, Villanueva drives it in. No good, no call, no good again. Blanton, no good, rebounded by Bear. Moses is gonna take the ball down. He looks around, he hizzies and drives it all the way in. I had to call on the blocking foul. Bear goes back to the line for two. I didn't quite pay attention if uh, Edwards got his feet planted in time, but either way, uh, they called a blocking foul and Bears at the line for two. Bear makes his first. So he makes his first, makes his second. 100% from free throw line tonight so far. Four attempts, four makes. 14 to five, nine point ball game. Golden Eagles are up. So Myrtle Point, another three point attempt for Villanueva. He's got just about all the points, I think, except for maybe a uh, exception of two. A great drop step there in by Bear, or not Bear, Aaron. Aaron passes to Bear, Bear out to Moses, or Abrahamson. Man, I am behind. Bronson gets two points. So now I believe every starter has points tonight so far. 16 to eight, eight point ball game. We're halfway through the first quarter. Four minutes remain. A foul gonna be called. They're calling it a shot. He was passing, but they're giving him a two-point free throw attempt. At the line, shooting for the number three, Logan so Backman. Logan Backman will be in the game right now, or in the that's free throw line. There we go. So Backman at the line makes his first. Checking in for the Myrtle Point number thirty, Mason Detzler. Not a whole lot of a height advantage. They do have some big bodies on Myrtle Point, but it doesn't seem to be affecting the Golden Eagles. So lane violation. Lane violation, so he'll get one more attempt and he gets it. So six to 10 right now, six point game. Golden Eagles with the lead so far. Abrahamson with the ball. Offensive foul on Simon Picard. Might have been an illegal screen. Long pass, Bear intercepts the inbound. Barkley down to Abrahamson, Abrahamson to Bear. Bear for two, no good. Rebounded by Picard. Picard saves the ball. Simon for three. It's no good. Rebounded by Bobcats. We're getting back on offense or defense. The Golden Eagles are getting back on defense. Trying to take advantage of the, I guess the mismatches they had going on there. Golden Eagles were a little behind on the defense. They're trying to get back on the offense. Long pass, backward shot there. That was a crazy shot by Trace Edwards, but it goes in for two. 16-12. So uh, Abrahamson passed it to Barkley, Barkley to Bronson. Bronson for two is no good, rebounded by Edwards. Edwards passes to Villanueva for the Bobcats. 
Bobcats take it down, pass it to Blanton. Blanton. They're not gonna make any of those calls until later in the game, I assume, but uh, Picard tried to take a charge. There was no call, so it wasn't blocking or charge. So Barkley's gonna drive it. Barkley got grabbed on the arm, but they didn't, they didn't call it. Picard for three in the corner, and it's good. Picard, I believe, is the top, the lead scorer right now for the Golden Eagles in, the, in this game. Villanueva being met by a strong defense of the Golden Eagles. They're double teaming instantly. Pass it down to Blanton. Blanton to Villanueva. Villanueva drives it in, no good. And Abrahamson gets the rebound, loses the ball, saves it. So Abrahamson was trying to talk to the ref, but again, to no avail. This is going to go back to uh, Bobcats. So five-point game still, 2-0-4. Blanton with the ball, being guarded by Bear Moses. Backs out to the three-point line. Passes it over to Trace Edwards. Edwards is guarded by Bronson. Back to Blanton. Blanton's going to take it in, loses the ball. And they're going to call a jump ball. Possession will go to the Golden Eagles. They could have let him just roll with the ball there because it would have been called a travel, but they went for a jump ball. Either way, they got the ball, so smart defense by the Golden Eagles. Golden, or Dylan making a call. Gets he gets picked by Villanueva. Two points. So now it's a three-point game. 130 left in the first quarter. Foul on the shot. Foul is called on Villanueva. A body check, as they're calling it. Abrahamson at the line for two. Abrahamson tends to be pretty efficient to uh, the free throw line, so we'll see how he does tonight. Makes his first. Free throws are crucial, as we witnessed in the girls' game here before. Good for two. So moving the ball around. Bobcats. Loses the ball, saved by Blanton. Blanton passes all the way across to Villanueva. Villanueva's looking for something. Villanueva's calling for a screen by Blanton. Blanton screens Moses. Passes it down to Edwards. Edwards for two. Abrahamson with the ball right now. Passes it to Bear in the corner. Bear drives it in, gets some contact. No call, nothing. Saved by Bronson. Bronson for two off the steal. Bear is trying to, to <laughs> try to make a point about not getting the call, but Bronson does that for him. Turnover on the Bobcats. So checking in for the Golden Eagles. Simon's taking a break. John John Withers makes his debut for the game. Simon with a great showing in the first quarter. John John's been shown to be impressive. He's shown a lot of hustle, a lot of heart. He gets physical when he needs to. He's a great big man for the team. Abrahamson making a call. Just under 20 seconds left. Abrahamson for two, and it's good. Inbounds. Villanueva with the ball. Foul going to be called. It'll be Bears for his personal. Third team. 25-18, 4.4 left in the first quarter. Gets it in. Long haul, but he makes it from way out there. Buzzer beater. 25-21 at the end of the first quarter. 
So there it's so far an even matchup. So far has been an even matchup and uh, they're playing great defense, great offense. You know, like I mentioned. Uh, it's just they just gotta keep keep their heads in the game. Of course, uh, Golden Eagles, like I said, just need to play keep playing smart. So end into the first quarter it's a four point game 25 21 uh, thank you for tuning in KCW LP Pendleton 104.1 FM trying to keep it all in here for you guys sorry I'm trying to respond to a couple of things So getting ready to start the second quarter. Excuse me here, I'm running behind. Again, one man showing it, so trying to make it work. But uh, Villanueva with the ball for the Bobcats to start the second. Move the ball around, Villanueva. Two points. They're trying to draw the fouls, trying to draw the charges, it's just not working. Barkley gets right in there for two points. Golden Eagles on that full court pressure right off the bat. Trace Edwards down to Howard Blanton. Blanton for two and it's good. So this is going back and forth, you guys. Bronson with a nice crossover step back three. No good. Over the back call going to be called on John John Withers. Be his first personal. So inbounds, Villanueva has the, has the ball. Guarded up by Dillon, passes it over to number 44, who is Jason Bates. But back to Villanueva. Villanueva is now being recognized in his mismatch, but he passes it right to Bear Moses. Bear is going to drive it down, pass it to Aaron. Aaron cat, Aaron cat misses the catch, but uh, gets intercepted. And they travel, so it goes right back to the Golden Eagles. So a turnover there by the Golden Eagles. So they're trying to, they're, they're, they can't let their emotions get the best of them. They're, they got to play smart. And turnovers are acceptable right now because it's so early in the game. Under seven minutes in the second half, or second quarter, that is. Uh, Myrtle Point with the ball. Barkley with a high jump, taps it. Gets blocked, chased down by Villanueva. But so gets it intercepted right away by uh, Baron Moses. Bear, I missed it, sorry. Two points, gets a layup. Drives right past the defense. I'm falling just a little bit behind. The boys are kind of a faster paced game than the girls. Foul on the shot on Bear. Jason Bates will be at the line to shoot too. Picard checks in for Moses. And number 24, Jake Sproul. Or Sproul, however you say the name. Misses it, rebounded by Withers. Withers passes to uh, Picard. Picard passes it to Abrahamson. Abrahamson to Barkley. Barkley drives it in for two, no good. Rebounded by Myrtle Point. Blanton wide open in the paint, gets two points. That's the disadvantage of playing double teams like that when someone's double teaming, somebody else is open. So 
So Abrahamson to Picard, Picard back to Abrahamson, Abrahamson to Barkley. Barkley's going to look around, going to dribble around, going to drive it in, pass it out to Picard. Picard's going to try to drive it in. Foul called on the play. So foul is called on Jake Spruill, his first. Abrahamson going to be inbounding on the end line baseline there for the Golden Eagles. Gets it into Barkley, inbounds Barkley. Barkley takes a three, no good. Rebounded by Villanueva, loses it, hustling around. Bronson for two, and it's good. So they're backing off the full court press. Backman with the ball right now. Pass it over to Spruill. There's one thing I noticed about these guys when I watched them the other day was that, uh, when I'm, I mean them, I mean the Bob, Bobcats, is that they do not have a real ball handler. The best ball handler they have is Villanueva, and he tends to struggle with that. But timeout taken by the Bobcats. So close game, still three points. It's still anybody's game. It is going to be anybody's game until someone takes a takes a little breather. So, but uh, anyway, again, just thank thank you all for tuning in to KCW LP Pendleton 104.1 FM, Wyatona coming to you live from Pilot Rock, Oregon. Hope you guys are staying warm, staying safe out there. Again, uh, if you missed it, the Nikkei Golden Eagle girls defeated Damascus Christian Eagles by two points, 49-47. Mercedes Hart was chosen for the player of the game. They, I believe they have some uh, a committee up there at the scores table that makes that decision, and Hart was chosen. Congratulations, she played great, she played hard. Had to lead the team tonight because uh, Sophie was out due to being uh, snowed in at her home, I believe is what was passed to me. Hopefully they're staying safe out there and hope you guys are too. The wind was crazy last night. So back to the action, Myrtle Point. Sprill on the sideline there, gonna inbound it to teammate, which will be Villanueva. Villanueva with the ball. He dribbles, stops, nope, passes it out. Bates, Bates passes it to Sprill. Sprill gets a uh, screen by Bates. Backman with the ball now. Two points, no good. Rebounded by Bronson. Bronson gets control of the ball. Takes it down for the Golden Eagles. Passes to Picard. Picard's going to drive in. Two points, no good. Rebounded by Bates. Bates passes to Nueva. Villa Nueva. Guarded by Dylan Abrahamson. Pa gets past him. Takes him out. Passes it out to Backman. Backman has the ball. Passes to Bates. Bates being guarded by Barkley. Barkley heavy on the defense there. So they're going to call a foul on Abrahamson. Oh, Withers, it sounds like. Abrahamson was trying to draw a foul or draw the charge, but didn't get it. And uh, Withers, Brickmer, he gets the foul. So Blanton at the line for two, he makes his first. Checking back into the game is number four, Trace Edwards. Misses his second, rebounded by Edwards. Edwards to Blanton, Blanton tosses it to Picard. Picard brings up to Bronson, Bronson for two, no good. Rebounded by Picard, Picard for two. So very fast paced action for these boys. Offense, they're great. Defense, they're great. Both teams are just matching each other. Air ball for the creator. He's he can't get a control of the ball now. Don't know who. <laughs> didn't have control of the ball, but they got the timeout. Again, very, very interesting. 
So another, it's close again, still only a four point game right now. 33 29, Golden Eagles in the lead. Uh, again, this is the uh, Nick Alley Golden Eagles is your home team versus the Myrtle Point Bobcats as your visiting team. Part of the Pilot Rock Rockets Invitational 1A Oregon preview here in Pilot Rock, Oregon, Pilot Rock High School. This is uh, the last game of the tournament for the Golden Eagles. After this game, though, there is the Pilot Rock Girls versus Myrtle Point. Again, the Nikki Alley boys were, inten were intended to play Open Door Christian, but Open Door Christian decided to make their way back home to Troutdale, where the school is located. So the boys' game was initially canceled, but uh, Pilot Rock gave up their game to against Myrtle Point for the Golden Eagles, so that game takes place. Not sure what's going on, but a foul is going to be called. Moving fast pace. It's back and forth, back and forth. Who, who has the ball? So a foul is called number three, Logan Backman. Bronson into Abrahamson. Abrahamson taking the ball down for the Golden Eagles. Pass it to Bronson. Bronson for three, no good. Rebounded by Edwards. Edwards is gonna long pass it, but doesn't get it down. Pass it to Sproul. Sproul to Villanueva. Villanueva is gonna take the ball down, probably make a call, make a play, do something. Uh, Villanueva is, like, undoubtedly, he is the star of the team on for Myrtle Point. Backman with the ball being guarded by Abrahamson. Calling, calling a blocking foul, I'm assuming, on Abrahamson. So Logan Beckman will be going to the line for a bonus. Logan Bates, Jason Bates, excuse me, Jason Bates is checking in. Makes the first, they're in a bonus, so Beckman's on the line for a one and one, makes his first. One more at the line, 3.02 left, it's 33.30 right now. Golden Eagles are ahead by three. Makes them both, 33-31, makes it a two-point advantage. Timeout taken by Golden, Golden Eagles. So again, three minutes, one second left, 33. 33-31, Golden Eagles up by two. Very close game, they're matching up perfectly, their offense, their defense. It's really tough to call anything. But Golden Eagles are playing playing good. And like I said, the uh, other team is also playing good, Myrtle Point. Hope you guys are staying warm and staying safe out there. And again, thank you for tuning in. KCW, LP Pendleton. Uh, uh, LP Pendleton, 104.1 FM. Trying to... Maintain, uh, you know, they're, they're, they've been doing very well. Um, unfortunately, they have dealt with technicals a couple of times in these past couple of games. But again, it is what it is. You just have to, that's not what happens. It's how you bounce back from it. The Golden Eagle girls uh, defeated, I uh, almost said Myrtle Point, but they played uh, Damascus Christian. So anything is possible. Put your hearts into it like these boys. Bronson gonna drive it in. Good Euro step. Two points is good and one. Bronson going to line for a one more. Trace Edwards drawing that foul. So Bronson knocks down the two points. Gets to go to line for one more. Potential three point play. Can he do it? He does. Trace Edwards is going to inbound it to Villanueva for the Bobcats. Villanueva for two. He drove right through that defense. Abrahamson's passing it to Barkley. Barkley's going to pass it to John John. John John's going to pass it out nowhere. He gives it to the defense. Villanueva for two, misses it, rebounded by Withers. Withers passes it to Picard. Picard gets intercepted, but it's staying with the Golden Eagles. Uh, 
Barkley's taking the ball in. Drop step, passed out to Picard. Picard for two, no good. Rebounded by Blanton, but turns it over to B Abrahamson. Abrahamson for three, it's good. Three points, Dylan Abrahamson brings it to a six point game, 33-39, two minutes left in the first half. Villanueva with the ball right now. Adjust the camera for those who are watching. Villanueva gets it tipped. Passes it to Barkley, Barkley to Abrahamson. Abrahamson to Withers, gets it tipped. John John is not executing his offense, but fortunately they're making up for it with the other Golden Eagles. Abrahamson misses a three point attempt. Rebounded by Picard, Picard to John John. John John Withers, he passes it over to Picard. Picard looking at the clock, takes a three point attempt, no good. Rebounded by Barkley, Barkley. He's gonna hold on to the ball. They're killing some of the clock, it looks like. Barkley for two, no good. Rebounded by Trace Edwards. That was a fast-paced action right there. Sound a little bit like an auctioneer, and I apologize. I'm trying to keep it up for you. Edwards with the ball, guarded by Picard now. Passes it down to Bates. Bates back to Edwards. Edwards misses, pass or rebounded by Withers. Withers passes it to Abrahamson. Abrahamson saves it. Traveling called. So they're calling the travel. Turnover on Golden Eagles. 46.4 in the first half remain. 33 39, six point game. Myrtle Point Bobcats have the ball. Full court press here by uh, Golden Eagles. Logan Backman with the ball, killing the clock. Trying to, looks like they're gonna try to make a play, kill the clock, something. But they're moving very slow. Nobody's really moving at all, actually. Bronson moves forward and leaves them open. He blew a wide open layup. Barkley gets that rebound, saves it. Now he passes it to Withers. Withers is losing, he loses. Got pushed out of bounds, but they're gonna. Now Withers got pushed out of bounds. They're calling it just out of bounds instead of the push. Not sure what's going on here, but inbound. Villain, uh, not Villain Waver, that's uh, Backman with the ball. Passes it over to Villain Waver. Villain Waver calling a foul on Abrahamson. So Villain Waver will be at the line for two for, for a one and one. It's only Abrahamson's second. Kywin Clements checking in for the game for the Golden Eagles. Kywin had a good showing yesterday. He played against Bonanza. A few points, three free throws. Dylan takes a breather. Villanueva makes his first. He has one more shot. It's a one and one opportunity. Villanueva takes and it goes out. Rebounded by Picard. Picard passes back to Villanueva. And then a foul. So I might be, I'm pretty sure that's Picard's third. Nope, it's only Picard's second. So. Villanueva back at the line, shoot again. Five point game so far, 39-34. 4.1 seconds in the first half. Villanueva knocks the first one down. One more at the line for Villanueva. Get ready to take the shot, takes it, and it's good. Now a three point game, 33 or 36-39. John John, long haul shot, no good, rebounded, no good. So that's your first half, ladies and gentlemen, 39-36, Golden Eagles up by three. So pretty crazy first half, a lot of shots being missed, a lot of calls being made, a lot of calls being missed. Uh, but it is what it is, Golden Eagles are playing great. Myrtle Point's playing you know, just as good, they're holding in there, they're not too far behind. But uh, stay tuned for second half action for Nikki Alley versus Myrtle Point. 
So we'll take a quick little break here. Uh, in the meantime, Anson, we're going back to you.
All right, and we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. KCW LP Pendleton, 104.1 FM. Wyatona here in Pilot Rock High School at the Rockets Invitational 1A Oregon Preview. Nick Yahweh, Golden Eagles versus the Myrtle Point Bobcats tonight. Uh, like I said, the, intent, the intended matchup was supposed to be the Open Door Christian versus Nick Yahweh, but Open Door decided to make their way back home to uh, Troutdale, where the school is located. So uh, Pilot Rock gave up their game. The boys gave up their game against Myrtle Point for the Golden Eagles to play. So uh, thank you for tuning in, whether you're listening on YouTube, watching on YouTube, or uh, listening to us on the air. Shout out to Anson Crane back at the station for making sure we're all set to go and putting us on the air so you guys can tune in. Going to get ready here for a second half action. Golden Eagles with the possession. They are the home team, so they're going to be on the other side of the court. Unlike how the girls were uh, the guests in the last game. Barkley inbounds to Abrahamson. Abrahamson to Moses. Moses is looking around. He's going to drive, stop. Picard's got the ball over to Barkley. <coughs> Barkley was no good. Rebounded by Abrahamson. Abrahamson for two, also no good. So missed opportunities there. Villanueva with the ball. Villanueva balling out for the Bobcats. Bobcats moving the ball around, trying to drive it in. No good. Rebounded by Moses. Moses going to haul down to the other end of the court for two, and it's good. Fast break, coast to coast. Again, Golden Eagles right there on the full court press. Foul looks like it's going to be on Barkley. Sure thing it is. It's his first. So it's a five-point ball game right now, 41-36. Bobcats are moving the ball around. Gets it in. Tapped out by a Golden Eagle, so it's going to stay with the Bobcats. Edwards passes it in to Blanton. Blanton over to Backman. Backman to Villanueva. Villanueva back to Edwards. Edwards misses his shot. Rebounded by Abrahamson. Abrahamson long pass to Picard. Picard to the offense or the defense, that is. Backman over to Villanueva. Villanueva calls a travel. So turnover on the, the Bobcats. Abrahamson in the a or Barkley Barkley back to Abrahamson Abrahamson takes the ball forward passes it over to Bear in the corner Moses for three no good was going to pass it but he started dribbling instead so Blanton with the ball being guarded heavily by the Golden Eagles foul going to be called on Simon Picard it looks like. That's his third, or his second, excuse me. Oh, just kidding again. I was right, third. So Edwards passes it in to Backman. Backman. <laughs> they're running each other over, but they're not, they're not getting no calls. Two points by Barkley. Foul on the shot. We'll go to the line for one more. So Villanueva gets the foul. It's his third personal. So uh, Barkley will be going to the line for two, or for one, excuse me. He made the shot. He makes this, goes up by eight. If not, stays with the seven point. Goes round and bounces out. Goes out on the Golden Eagle, so it's going to stay with the uh, Bobcats. Villanueva with the ball guarded by Abrahamson. Abrahamson staying heavy on top of him. Blanton here in the corner for three. No, it's good. 
Picard inbounds to Ab or Barkley. Barkley passes to Abrahamson. Abrahamson with the ball. Abrahamson passes to Barkley. Barkley is going to look around. Gets a screen by Picard. Barkley mid-range shot. No good. Rebounded by Bronson. Bronson loses the ball, but he gives it to uh, Picard. Picard, or rolls to Picard, excuse me. Picard to Abrahamson. Abrahamson to Bronson. Bronson didn't capitalize on the cash. Didn't grab it. Goes out of bounds. It's going to go to Myrtle Point Bobcats. So now, they're going to call a carry. So a turnover on the Bobcats. Goes back to the Golden Eagles. 5.57 left in the third quarter. Abrahamson with the ball. Passes to Moses. Moses is going to drive it in. Moses is capable of driving right in like it is nothing. He knows how to attack the defense. So he's going to the line for two. The foul is called on who? Foul the number four, Trace, Trace Edwards. So they already have three players with three fouls on them. Or two players with three fouls. So Bear makes his first. Bear takes a second and it's good. Bear is very, very efficient from the free throw line. So when you send him to the line, it's almost automatic. And I say almost because there's a rarity that he'll miss those free throws sometimes. But it is what it is. Golden Eagles are on the defense. They're trying to stop it. Oh, out of bounds. It's going to the Golden Eagles, tapped out by Moses. Edwards is going to inbound from the baseline. And Golden Eagles in his own defense. Moses stops the inbound, passes, or but he you know, throws it right back out, so it's going to stay with the Bobcats. Edwards inbounds to Villanueva. Villanueva. Like he is showing some great handles there. <laughs> Heavily guarded. Gets the five second violation uh, when you're being uh, defended. And uh, like I said, Abrahamson showing great you know, enthusiasm about getting to that call. It's just getting in the head of the other team. Moses for three off the assist of Abrahamson, but it was no good. Rebounded by Edwards. Edwards is going to drive it down himself. Passes it to Blanton. Blanton was going to take a shot, but it didn't go. He's going to drive it in. No good. Bear is going to try to draw the charge. No good on that either. But uh, Barkley with the ball now is going to take a three. Just kidding. Pass to Abrahamson. Pass over to Bear. Bear was no good. A lot of contact on that. And now blocking foul on Bronson. Very fast-paced basketball for the boys. Yeah, like I said, it's very fast paced and trying to stay with it. Long pass by Blanton into Edwards. Edwards gets a shot and one. So Edwards at the line for one. The foul is calling Barkley his second. And it's good for the end one. Three point ball game once again. Bear underneath, an offensive foul. Offensive foul on Bear, his third. So Edwards passes it to Villanueva. Villanueva back to Edwards. Edwards is going to pass it to Blanton. Blanton back to Edwards. Edwards for three, and it's no good. 
out of bounds, goes to the Golden Eagles. Moses is going to inbound to Abrahamson. 4-14 left in the third, still a three-point game. The Golden Eagles have maintained the lead majority of the game, I believe all of the game, actually. So Abrahamson with the ball, not Abrahamson, he passes it to Bear. So Moses with the ball, showing off his handles for sure. Fakes him out, gets the layup, two points. Bear is really showing him what's up today. And again, it's all mind, it's, it's mind games is what's being played. They're trying to get in the head, those heads of uh, Bobcats. And you know, to some extent they are. Villanueva gets two points. Abrahamson to Barkley, Barkley for three. Just kidding, he takes it in. He's gonna drive it past, nope, gives it to Picard. Picard's gonna drive it in. Good move, Barkley for three. And off the bank, it's good. Yep, I am an enthusiast of the uh, bank shots. Bears is trying to draw some fouls. He's trying to get some charges or something. Bank's closed, so I don't think you're gonna be able to get any charges. Hey, he's just kidding. A carry called. Four point ball game. So Sprill checking back into the game for the Bobcats. Under three minutes now remain in the ball or in the third quarter. Sprule's gonna inbound it for the Bobcats. Inbounds to Backman, Backman back to Sprule. Sprule's gonna hold it, getting guarded heavily by Bronson, but they're gonna call a foul on Bronson. So Abrahamson, Bronson, and Picard and Bear all have three fouls so far. I believe Barkley has two. Uh, they've been playing mainly their starters tonight, with the exception of John John. Kaiwen also came in for a little bit. Bronson up to the court, passes it out to Bear. Bear for three. And one, three points. Bear knocks that shot down. Foul being called to number 10, which is Howard Blanton. Bear took a three point shot. It went in, he got fouled. Going to the line for a four point play. Don't see that very often. Picard taking a break. Withers coming in. Bear at the line to shoot one. No, and that's that rarity I was talking about earlier where he misses. But he got three points anyway, so that's that's enough for the time being. Villanueva for two, no good. Out of bounds on Bates, so it's going to go to the Golden Eagles. Abrahamson being very vocal down there. Again, I believe it's just part of the mind game that's being played. They're trying to get in the heads of Villanueva, get them frustrated, because when they're frustrated, when anybody's frustrated, they're not going to do too well. No good there. They're going to be... Uh, Blanton with the ball, taking it up for the Bobcats. Bobcats making a play, getting somebody open. Villanueva running down, passing it over to Backman. Backman with the ball is going to drive it in. Two, three points for Backman, no good. Rebounded by Withers. Withers to Barkley. Barkley to Bronson. Fast break, just like that, two points. Nine-point game right now. Golden Eagles up. Time out taken by... The Bobcats. Yep, it is a very close game. But uh, Golden Eagles starting to slowly wake up. It's just a matter of, you know, second half usually is when it comes to, comes to them. So Golden Eagles with the nine-point lead right now. They're uh, like I said, they're getting in the heads of the Bobcats. Dylan has been very vocal. He's been uh, kind of yelling, you know, when when with excitement. That is, it's not it's not a yelling of uh, 
anger or none of that or he's not you know saying or doing anything deliberately you know uh unsportsmanlike he's just excited in the moment and he yells when things go well and you know that's completely cool so our boys are playing great myrtle point or myrtle point's also playing good again it's just a matter of execution on both ends and mcgally is executing their plays So it gets inbound there. Backman with the ball, passes it down to Blanton. Blanton loses the ball, get Bates with it. Bates throws it up for two, no good. No good. Bates with the ball, passes out to Villanueva. Villanueva with the ball, passes it over to Backman. Backman for three, no good. Bounced around, saved by the Bobcats. Bobcats with the ball. Backman for three or two, no good. Rebounded by Bear. Bear all the way up to Abrahamson. Abrahamson was trying to do an alley oop, but no good. Rebounded, was saved by Bear. Moses for two points, giving it tur quick turnover. Quick turnover on the, after that shot. Abrahamson got a steal, got two points. Now we're up to 13 points. Golden Eagles are staying up, staying awake, staying alive. They're really taking advantage of the Bobcats. They're telling the, <laughs> the kids on the bench, the kids on the court are telling number 24 Spruill to shoot the ball. Villanueva will shoot it, but he didn't make it. Out of bounds, last touch by Bates. I believe John John thought that he touched it last, but got saved. So Picard's taking a break, St. Schimmel checking in. Or excuse me, no, Barkley's taking a break. Because John John checked in, Simon checked out, so. Right now, Abrahamson, Bronson, Moses, Schimmel, and Withers. Look at the play there, no good. Bronson gets the foul, and he'll go to the line. Excuse me, my mouth getting a little dry. Misses the first. Brocky's checking in. Waptus Brocky, one of the younger players. He's a sophomore this year, um, I believe. Bronson for two, no good. Rebounded by the Bobcats. Backman with the ball. Blanton with the ball now, being guarded by Withers. Blanton passes it down to Edwards. Edwards for two, no good. Rebounded by the Golden Eagles. Withers up to Saint. Schimmel all the way, uh, he passes hard to Abrahamson. Abrahamson to Withers, Withers to Saint. Schimmel for two, no good. Rebounded by the Bobcats. Foul on the shot. Abrahamson got the foul, so Villanueva will go to line for a one. He makes the shot. Now that's Abrahamson's third. So Villanueva at the line for a one. Misses it. Bronson with the ball. Nine seconds remain in the third quarter. Waptis for three. And it's good for his first three of the game. And third quarter, just like that. Your Golden Eagles are warmed up, and they're ready for this fourth quarter. Can they keep their heads straight? That's the thing. You know, they, they're warmed up now, but it's a matter of time. Myrtle Point can also warm up. Those hot moments never last forever, and that's, you know, sometimes they forget. The, we, we all forget about that. Get those heat checks. You're on fire, then... At any given moment, it'll stop. But right now, the Golden Eagles have the hot hand. They're in the heads of Myrtle Point with a 14-point uh, lead. So, again, thank you for tuning in to KCW LP Pendleton 104.1 FM. This is Wyatona live here in Pilot Rock High School. Anson's also at the KCW radio station, making sure you guys can hear us over the airwaves. So shout out to Anson and shout out to all you guys for listening, whether it's on YouTube or listening on the airwaves at 104.1 FM. Golden Eagles, uh, 
had a tough game last night. Both were, yeah, last night and the night before, Thursday and Friday night. Girls, uh, both boys and girls lost to Crane Thursday night. And then both girls and boys won against Bonanza yesterday. Girls got a nail-biting win against uh, Damascus Christian last night, or not last night, here just a few minutes, or a few, yeah, about earlier. I'm getting jumping ahead of myself, and now the boys are playing Myrtle Point. So three games in a span of three days. You can only imagine how tired these boys are, but they're showing them what's up. They're playing their hearts out. Great coaching system as well. Trace Edwards for three. Abrahamson with the ball being met by full court press. Passes it to Schimmel. Schimmel's going to take a three. He gets his three. Our backup's starting to warm it up, man. They're showing them what's going on. They're showing them they're still a force to be reckoned with. Villanueva. So I believe that was on Waptis. Yep, foul was called on Brocky. Villanueva will be going to the line for a uh, one and one bonus. Uh, again, uh, Villanueva has been very impressive on the team. He's kind of the one holding the team together, him and Trace Edwards. Makes his first. So right now, aside from, uh, well, actually, yeah, Saint and Dylan are the only two uh, seniors out there right now. Misses it. Rebound. Villanueva. Out of bounds, goes to the Golden Eagles. Again, that expression of excitement there, uh, Abrahamson. Bronson, Abrahamson ready to run a play, and they get inbounded. Abrahamson gets trapped. B Bronson with the ball. Got to get the ball over the half-court line. Timeout taken by the Golden Eagles. 7-13 remain in the ball game, 65-52 right now. Golden Eagles up 65-52, like I just said. Uh, right now, they're having a good showing. They're struggling to get across the half-court line. But they called a timeout, so they're going to get right on over there. So just stand by. But timeout taken by Coach uh, Barkley. So, again, hope you guys are enjoying your night. What am I looking at? I am so sorry, you guys. My camera, is, my camera angle is off. But, uh... Yeah, so stand by. A uh, couple, you know, something to look forward to tomorrow. There's an East Oregon Symphony uh, Holiday Music Festival at the Vert Auditorium. I believe they start around 6 o'clock or open at 6, or actually they open early in the afternoon. I can't remember what the time is exactly, but that's at the Vert Auditorium. Um, also, the Nikki Alley Christmas celebration takes place next Friday, Saturday. So stuff to look forward to in these next few coming times. I'll... Next time out, I'll try to get one of the Saint tried to take another three, and it was no good. That was one of those heat check moments I was mentioning earlier. Villanueva tried to take it too, but it was no good. Rebounded by the Golden Eagles. Abrahamson was doing some crazy pass. He turns it over to Villanueva, or to the, to the Bobcats, that is. Oh! John John had a good block. They called foul on it, so no good. Backman will be going to the line for two. Backman will be at the line. And they're good. So 54-65 right now, 6.30 left in the ball game. Barkley up to Moses. Moses passes to Brocky. Brocky for three. He knocks it down, though. Brocky with the hot hand. Makes two three-pointers in his game so far. 
Millville in the waiver with the ball, passes to Backman. Backman out to Edwards. Edwards drives it in, passes out to Backman. Backman for three, and it's no good. Rebounded by Barkley. Barkley for oh, Schimmel is ready to take a deep three. No good. They're starting to play a little wild, and it's it's cool. They have a good lead. They just got to remember to, you know, they can't be doing that for the rest of the game. They need to make sure that they're making smart plays because uh, any given moment, it's still a close enough game for uh, Myrtle Point to come back. Myrtle Point with the ball right now. Backman over to Edwards. Edwards travel. Golden Eagle ball. Tommy Moore is now checking in. Wasn't 100% sure what was going on all around, but. Simon is also in the game. Simon looked like he checked in for Abrahamson. So Tommy to uh, Picard. Picard gonna drive it in, blocking foul. Substitution. Mason Detzler checked in for the Bobcats. Inbound to Picard. Picard takes it up for two. No. Yep, it is. It bounces around. It goes in. 70 to 54. 15, 16 point game. It's a 16 point game right now. Golden Eagles with a comfortable lead here in the fourth. Like I said, any given moment, there can be a comeback. It just all depends on how they keep playing. But they're playing some extraordinary defense. And Brocky with the rebound up to Barkley. Barkley to Moore. Moore for two. He gets, he misses it. Rebounded by the Bobcats. And now Blanton has the ball. Edwards takes a three. No good. Bounces over the backboard, which should have been out. Moses is in the game, I didn't even realize. Moore saves it, gives it to Barkley. Barkley's got the ball, taking it up. Over to Waptis for three again. And again, he's got the hot hand. Three for three from the three-point line. Waptis, Brocky, nine points, just like that. Man, oh, man. Almost a 20-point game. It's 19 points right now, 73, 54, 425 left in the ball game. A crazy shot taken by Villanueva. Moses with the all right, Villanueva got a foul, I believe. Which is his fourth personal. They're one foul away from being in the bonus, so no bonus yet. So Picard will inbound from this baseline. Barkley with the ball out to Waptes. Can he make it 4-4-4? Four, four, four? No. Still an impressive showing for Waptes. Blanton with the ball, passes over to Backman. Backman's gonna take it in, nope, he passes over to Edwards. Edwards for three, no good. Rebounded by Backman, Backman for two, no good. Rebounded by Backman, Backman, oh! They recognized it was a block, Wap just had a block, but the ref called it a foul. So, ref didn't even know who he was calling it against, so I, that, that says quite a bit right there, right? So. So Waptis did get all ball, but they're calling the foul on Bear. So that's why that, that's that. Man, oh man. So ba Backman at the line makes his first. 18 point game, 3.56 left in the game. One more at the line, if he makes this, it'll be down to a 16, or excuse me, 17 point game. Foul. So bonus, on, it's there in the bonus now. Barkley will be going to the line for two. Logan Backman with the foul. So that means uh, Barkley will be at the line for two. Or for a one and one. So Barkley at the line, takes his first. It's good. 74-55. Substitution for Myrtle Point. 
number 12. Connor Angulo. Angulo. Angelo. However, I'm not sure how you say that. Barkley for second. He's good for two. Brings it to a 20-point game. 75-55. They're pulling back the full-court press. Backman bringing the ball forward for the Bobcats. Passes it over to Angulo. Passes it over to Villanueva. Back to Backman. Backman looking to drive it in. No good on the attempt by Villanueva. Rebounded by uh, Bear. So a blocking foul. They're trying to draw a charge. Bear at the line for two. So Kyron Clements is in the game now. I believe they're going to put in all their backup players here shortly. He's good for two. So Landon Picard making his debut for the game. Backman takes the ball down for the gold or for the bad, not even the Badgers. Man, I'm way off now. I'm getting tired. I must be. But uh, foul is called. Aaron Barkley gets a foul, his third. Bobcats in the double bonus, their shoot two. Line, three, Mason, Densler. Mason Densler shooting two, he makes his first. Good for two. Clements inbounds to Barkley. Barkley is going to take it down for the Golden Eagles. Passes out to Picard. Picard's going to take it in. Nice drop step for two. No good, but he gets a foul. Looks like he'll be going to the line for two. So Picard will be at the line. 307 left at 77 57. Misses his first. St. Schimmel checking back, checking back into the game. So on his second attempt, Simon Picard, no good, misses them both. Rebounded by the Bobcats. Villanueva has the ball, fell on the ground. Regardless, is going to the line because it's going to be in a double bonus. So the foul is called on St. Schimmel. It's his first. Villanueva at the line. Makes his first. So 303 remain in the ball game. 77 58. Will be 59 if he knocks it in, but he doesn't. Rebounded by Picard. Picard lost the ball, gave it to the two Tommy. Moore with the ball, Landon for three. Air ball. Out of bounds, stays with, uh, stays with the Golden Eagles, it looks like. Golden Timeout Golden taken Golden by Golden the Golden Eagles. 2.54 remaining in the ball game, 77-58. Waptus Brocky is checking in, I'm assuming for Simon, so now it's gonna be all the, pretty much the backups. Okay, I thought I was tripping, but the, the band is showing up for a different team. For Pilot Rock, it must be. So, yeah. I guess music is music, but whatever. 
So thank you for tuning in to KCW LP Pouncin 104.1 FM. This is Wyatona coming to you live in Pilot Rock High School. Uh, part of a Pilot Rock Rockets Invitational Oregon 1A preview. Many of the schools across the state for 1A had come for this uh, Invitational. Bonanza High School, Crane Union High School, Damascus Christian High School, St. Paul High School. Cross Hill Christian School, Open Door Christian Academy, Nicky Alley Community School, Myrtle Point High School, and the Pilot Rock Rockets. So, back to the action. Sorry, adjusting the camera so you guys can see what's going on down there. Kai wins, going to dribble it down. Two points, no good. Again, Kaiwen had a pretty good showing last night. Got a few points in for the Golden Eagles against Bonanza. No good. Rebounded by Moore. Moore, not sure what he's going to do. He lost the ball. Gets it over to Kaiwen. Kaiwen loses the ball. Blanton with it. Villanueva. He was out of bounds. So it's going to go to the Golden Eagles. 2.29 left, and it's a 19 point game. Be a miracle if they get the comeback. Waptes inbounds. Moore. Moore gives it to Schimmel. Schimmel's going to try to get the ball up. Now you got to realize they only have 10 seconds to get across. Moore with the ball now. Moore's going to take it. Pass it to Picard. Picard fake. Pass it to Moore. Moore over to Clements. Clements for a three, and it's good. <laughs> Kai went with his little dance moves after the three point there, so his little celebration. Knocks down a three, though. So that's another three by one of our backup players, which is. You know, like I said, it's impressive. Brocky with the foul, or a foul with the rebound. Like I said, our backups are knocking down some threes. Kai went for a three, Landon in the corner for three. It's no good. He gets the ball back, passes to Tommy. Moore passes it to Waptis. Waptis shoots a three, and he misses it now too. So, yeah, the, new, the younger guys are, he gets a good defensive stop. It wasn't quite a block, but it wasn't quite a, it wasn't a foul either. Traveling called on Picard just because he hit a three or hit a point. Knocked down a little floater shot. So 127 remaining in the ball game, 80 to 58. Like I said, right now, backup players are in the game for Nick Yowie. while uh, so most of the varsity is still in for uh, Myrtle Point. Mm. Yeah, I didn't even notice Saint lost his shoe, but there's a foul on the shot on number 10, Kaiwen. I know, I was looking on the OSAA website. OSAA needs to fix it, but it says Kaiwen Kerwin on the OSAA roster. So Jake Sproul checking back in for the Bobcats. Trace Edwards checking out. 109 left in the ball game, 80 to 58. Golden Eagles with a good lead. Back and mixes his shot. Picard p to Clements. Clements is gonna pass it to Moore. Moore for three. His is way off. It looked good, but the uh, angling. Blanton with the ball. And one. Shot was on, or the foul was on uh, Moore. Making all the calls that they didn't make earlier in the game, now that the game is pretty much said and done. So Howard Blanton at the line to shoot two. Or one, I mean, he made the shot. Rebounded, nope, they didn't grab it. So Bobcats get two more points. Mason Destler with the ball, uh, with the two points. Waptis over to Kaiwen. Kaiwen for three. No good, runs out. Tommy gets a put back, no good, gets the foul. Tommy goes to the line. 39 seconds remain in the ball game, 80 to 63. The foul was called on uh, Spruill, Jake Spruill. So Tommy Moore will go to the line for two. Misses his first. Can he get on the board though? Can he make at least one of these? 
We shall find out here right now. And no, bounces around, but rebounded by Kaiwin. Kaiwin has the ball. He's going to look around. Just drives it in for two. No good. Rebounded by Picard. Picard, no good. Picard again for two. Now he's on the board. Great hustle shown there by the Golden Eagles. Villanueva with the ball. Looking to make a play. 15 seconds. Tommy with the ball now. Tommy got the steal. Picard's going to run up. Picard Moore is going to pass it out of bounds. So 8.6 in the ball game, 82-63. That's pretty much all she wrote here. Uh, Bobcats are going to inbound it and probably just wait out the eight seconds unless they're going to try to get some more scores. Saint was trying to get a foul, I guess. I'm not sure exactly what for. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's your ball game. 82-63. to 63. Golden Eagles get the win. Big wins for both teams. Golden Eagles, the girls and the boys. Girls won 49 to 47 earlier. Boys win, and it was uh, 80 to, you know, I <laughs> I lost the score just like that. They changed it not even a second afterwards. But uh, regardless, they get the win. So Howard Blanton gets the player of the game. Uh, so 84-63, I believe, is what the final score was. But again, thank you for tuning in to KCUW LP Pounce on 104.1 FM. Thank you for joining me this weekend as we ha we're here at the Oregon 1A Invitation or we're in 108. Spit it out. 1A, Oregon preview. Both Nick LA teams got the wins tonight. So uh, that's pretty much all she wrote there for us this weekend. Back to you, Anson, and we'll catch you next time.